Rambert's new mixed bill is a reminder of two things above all about Britain's oldest and yet resolutely contemporary dance company. For one thing, it remains endearingly unafraid to experiment. Take Goat, one of two new pieces on offer. This is a tricky one to review, not just because it so completely defies expectations and conventions, but because surprise is a large part of the fun, perhaps even much of the entire point. What one can say is that it plays out in an onstage room that feels part concert hall, part cult headquarters, and which is cleverly designed and lit to hint at both, while also having the faint whiff of some dismal corporate away day about it, too. There's an MC Miguel Altanaga, scarcely less beguiling behind a mic than when dancing, several smoky and stunning live renditions of songs made famous by Nina Simone, Take a Bow, jazz singer Nia Lin, and a dramatic arc of thoughts that stirs in elements of the great woman's tortured life with some of the individual dancers' experiences, as well as more than a little flavor of a right. All the while, the piece mercilessly takes the mickey out of the very notion of contemporary dance, and, by the way, the fourth wall is largely absent. Still with me. Hannah Rudd and Liam Francis in Goat Credit Alistair Muir now, Ben Duke is by no means the first dancer theatre choreographer to tinker around impishly with his art form. Goat owes a profound debt to the late Pina Bausch, who of course invented Tan's theatre in the first place, and its Anything Goes spirit will be familiar to any regular visitors to the Edinburgh Fringe. But, at the same time, Duke whose collaboration with writer Lucy Kirkwood, like Rabbits, was one of the highlights of 2014's Brighton Festival does seem to be trying something genuinely new here, and with a real generosity of spirit too, for which ambition, marks. My beef with Goat is that the dance itself erupts too rarely and too drably. As the piece goes on, Duke's presumably calculated refusal to put Rambit's dancers through their paces feels ever more like an unnecessary affectation, often entertaining and funny though the piece is, there's the sense of a fleet of gleaming Lamborghinis being used for a trip to the local Lidl. With sharper choreography, and if only it would allow itself to impress as both experiment and as dance, Goat could easily have its clever, anarchic, self-referential cake and both eat and ruminate on it too. The company perform a linear curva, choreographed by Itzik Galilee credit. Alistair Muir it is, then, the evening's preceding two pieces that remind us of the other eternal truth about Rambert. Just what fine dancers it employs. In some ways, Adonis Phoniadakis's symbiosis all also new is the antithesis of goat. An attempt to distill the energy, rhythms and emotions of big city life, this beauty-lit abstract piece doesn't break any substantial new ground it just makes for an effortlessly and almost constantly seductive experience. Alarm bells may ring early on with a few gratuitous, echoes weck and hyperextensions, but it soon settles into a satisfyingly chugging groove, with Phoniadarchies expertly exploiting the athleticism and musicality of his cast. Swelling and dissolving with equal speed, Symbiosis's ensembles often seem to nod to facets of urban existence from commuting to street crossing to greeting friends and loved ones but subtly and unmimetically so, leaving plenty of room for interpretation, and I'd happily have castigated Ilan Eshkeri's score for apparently nodding so flagrantly to Philip Glass, John Adams and even Tangerine Dream, if it weren't so eloquently, and even movingly suited to the task in hand. The overall impression here, from steps, score and performances alike, is one of optimism, as if those of us who shoehorn ourselves daily onto the Victoria line might not be entirely cursed after all. Oliver Johnston Iakimo and here in a basic era. Posthumous credit Alistair Muir the evening opens with that perennial crowd pleaser a linear curva. It's at Galilee's blisteringly entertaining and blisteringly danced fusion of hip swinging, samba's oaks flamboyance and formal, chessboard like precision. Rambert's dancers here let their talents roar, and it is hard to imagine a more stimulating opener, so much so, that it felt harsh on Phoniadakis's piece to serve. It up next. Have symbiosis as the easily digestible entree, goat as the outre main, and a linear curva as the closing tropical fruit extravaganza, and an already pretty delicious evening could go down better still. Until November 25th, tickets 0207863-8000sadlerswells.com.